All right, so this is a video about trying to replace the modal from using uh, this um, component where we just have the text in here. And if you wanted to change something inside here, we actually tell you to detach this instance if you want to add anything else inside this body. Uh, so for example, if we wanted to create something that was more complex inside a modal, such as this um, deletion one here, um, you have to delete this and then add these elements into the content. Another way to approach this problem is to use slot components. So here is an example of how you might uh, approach this. And here it's you would have the content of the body uh, to be the placeholder content. So here, this is our, my placeholder content for this. And by using it as a component, uh, we can leverage the power of Figma to then swap out um, different components to fill the body. So for example, with this, if I wanted to swap it out with the delete prompt, this is what happens. Um, so you would have to do something like that. And this way, you haven't detached um, the the modal component, which is good, um, and you're just changing the stuff inside, which I think is the more true spirit of using components. But as you can see, there's something weird there where the auto layout didn't work. So I had to manually adjust this, and that's that causes issues because then, you know, what's the right spacing from the footer? Like the whole reason we have components and auto layout is to control that spacing so that we don't need to uh, get that wrong. Um, another way I tried it was to create this whole middle part as a component. Uh, so here, this would be my component here where it's the text with a little bit of the padding around it. So therefore, any other component that uh, needs to be swapped in there would also have to manage the uh, padding. So how that would work in this scenario is if I click on here, uh, this is my body, and then I delete prompt, and boom. That's how that one works. And there's flaws to this one too, because with components, you should be really managing just the stuff without the padding, and the padding is really part of the modal, not the component itself. So there are issues there, and I think the reason for that is that there is currently an auto layout bug uh, with nested components in Figma right now. So um, the recording of this video is March 24th. It looks like a week ago there was something that was released that causes a slight change of behavior on how auto layout works. But once that gets resolved, and now I'll revisit this issue and hopefully we can uh, start using this as a way to use components without needing to detach them. Thank you.